Hey everybody, welcome back to the Space News Pod. This is a show about SpaceX, NASA, and space flight. I'm your host, Will Walden, and on this episode, we're going to be talking about SpaceX Starbase. We're going to be talking about Starlink. We're going to be talking about some Elon Musk stuff, but let's start off with SpaceX's Starbase in the Rocket Garden. So Ship 22 was moved over to the Rocket Garden just yesterday, and it sits between Ship 15 and Ship 16, and off to the side is Booster 5. Now, Booster 5, Ship 22, we don't know if they're going to work together and make a full-stack starship out of them, but it is cool to see another ship in the Rocket Garden. I was down there yesterday. I was recording, uh, but I got there right as they were putting Ship 22 in its final place at the uh, Rocket Garden. And when I say final place, I mean temporary place, because we don't know if it's moving. We don't know if it's there forever, but it is pretty interesting to see another ship in the Rocket Garden. Now, there was a tweet, too, and I want to I want to talk to you guys about this tweet. A tweet from South Padre Island, S. Padre. Um, and S. Padre said, sure would be cool to have a starship in a public Rocket Garden for SpaceX fans, maybe at the entrance of the island or somewhere. So he's talking about South Padre Island, which is about 25 minutes from me um, that way. I think, and then SpaceX is that way. So, uh, and it's it's a okay road. It seems like an okay road to move a Starship down, right? It's a pretty big highway. There's a port over there. They could maybe they could float it over there. I'm not sure how that would work. I don't know if there's any sort of inlet there that they could float it to. Uh, but the road seems like it's okay. So Elon retweeted or Elon replied with, "If South Padre." and or Brownsville would like a Starship prototype, we can send one over. So right now they transport Starship on a mover and it's standing upright. You know, it's 163 feet tall or what, you know, something like that. That can't go down a normal road. That can't go all the way down Highway 4. Um, and then turn and go under all the, uh, you know, stoplights and electric cables and things like that. It just won't work. So what they would have to do in order to do that, so you'd have to go up Highway 4, you know, towards uh, Brownsville. Then you take a right towards uh, towards uh, South Padre Island, and there's a lot of stuff in the way. So you couldn't do it vertically. You'd have to do it by laying down Starship on a huge mover and shut down the road for probably, I don't know, the whole way there. Uh two hours maybe it's good it would take a little while but then again if it's horizontal it's not going to take as long i think if they strap it down and just go for it i don't think it's going to take as long as they do when they go from the production facility down to the launch site at uh, boca chica starbase texas now elon also said maybe near bro airport since that serves both communities and that's a really great idea sending it to brownsville international airport bro if you will bro would be a really great idea because everybody that comes into brownsville and flies into south padre island uh that would be a really cool site as you're flying in and it shows that you know the community is backing spacex everybody here is backing spacex brownsville there are so many people in the government here that are backing SpaceX because they bring millions and millions and millions of dollars to the area. So it would be really cool for the, the city of Brownsville, the international airport to have a rocket at the airport. So this is a cool thing that would be uh, a neat thing to have, but also they'd have to drive down highway four. So basically this is, this seems like an easier way to do it than sending it over to South Padre Island because Brownsville uh, highway four goes all the way down Boca Chica Boulevard goes all the way down towards uh, the International Airport. So you just basically drive down Highway 4, and then the International Airport's on your left. And you pull into the International Airport, and then you drop off your Starship, and then you're like, oh, cool, that was easy. It, <laughs> it seems, but there are some stoplights, of course, so you can't do it vertically. Um, there's one at the intersection of uh, Boca Chica Boulevard and 511. I think it's 511. Um that you'd get stuck at. So you'd have to do it horizontally, lay it down and make sure that it fits because it's pretty, pretty big. That's a big, huge rocket. So getting it over there would be a little bit tricky, but I think SpaceX could figure out a way to do it and they could work with Brownsville 
International Airport and the local municipalities of Brownsville to get it over there. So how cool would that be if you're flying into Brownsville International Airport and you see a gigantic rocket, a gigantic prototype of a starship? Maybe you get a booster there, too. Maybe uh, you get a whole system eventually. But I'm not sure what the regulations are at an airport for having something that big there. Because I don't think there's anything else that tall at Brownsville International Airport. I don't think there's anything. Maybe a radio tower, something like that. But I don't know if there's anything that I've seen that's 150 plus feet tall. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I have to look into that a little bit because I think that would be a really neat thing. And I want to kind of go on to the next topic here, which is Starlink. Okay, so Starlink. Um, here we go. Take a look. Full power. Starlink Lift successfully off. Starlink launched. Uh, they launched at about three hours ago, so about nine twenty-ish. Vehicles which are now rich. Full power. Successful Lift launch. off. Starlink four eight. Successful landing of Falcon Nine for the stage on short-term short-term electronic mass. Vehicles which are now rich. Landed the booster on the drone ship. And then they successfully deployed Full power. 46 Lift off. Starlink, Starlink 4 This is becoming like normal. Everything that SpaceX is doing is becoming pretty normal. And sorry about that audio. Hopefully you could have heard me. But basically everything here is going normal. Everything is easy, easy for SpaceX going forward with these Starlink launches. And it seems like every time they do it, they get better and better and refine their systems. And then they use this data and they use it for other launches as well. So once they get Starship up and running, they're going to have hundreds of Starlink satellites in these things, you know, and they're still working on kind of like uh, if you played Tetris, like Tetrising all these Starlink satellites into the nose of a Starship because this nose of the Starship flips open. There we go. Flips open like that. And they have to figure out how to do that and then deploy the Starlink satellites out of the Starship. So they're figuring all that out stuff, all that stuff out right now. But they're also working at SpaceX's Starbase to get an orbital flight pretty soon, as soon as possible. And if they can't do it at Boca Chica at Starbase, they're going to have to move it over to NASA. And that's for a, uh, a whole other show. But I want to say thank you, everybody, for stopping by the show. And sorry about the audio midway through. I just do this in one take. One take studios here. One take Starbase Studio B. And uh, that's about it for today. I appreciate you. Take care, everybody. And my schedule is going to be a little bit weird for the next week. So if you're if you're normal to the show, if you're uh, a fan of the show for a while, um, I'm going to take probably a week on and off of the show um, because I have to go visit some family. So I'm going to take a little bit of time off. So I just want to let you know that. But that's about it. The show will be here when I get back. And so hopefully will you. And if you haven't subscribed to the show yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button, of course. Take care, everybody. Check out starshipshirts.com. Uh, we have really high quality Starship shirts. And we also have a lot of uh, SpaceX inspired and SpaceX themed uh, clothing, merch, t-shirts, etc. So check it out, starshipshirts.com. There's a really cool booster engine shirt that Neil designed and it's just, it's so cool. I'm going to get one. I have to order one, but I'm going to be on the road. So I can't order it and have it come here. And then I'm not here. That'd be silly. So I can't do that. I'm going to get one when I come back. And I'm so pumped on it. It's so cool. We've been working on this for a while now. So thanks everybody for shopping over there. And uh, really do appreciate it. We have some orders already and we're filling those. We have a fulfillment partner. Everything's safe and secure. So I'm super stoked on it. So thanks everybody. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.